Hey everyone, welcome back. Thank you for joining me. Um, before I get started to my special pour tonight, I want to show you guys my circle Dutch pour. It's still a smidge wet in the middle, as you can see, but the outer layer has dried quite nicely. So I'm super excited about this. I've been reading your comments and, you know, people, you guys want to see a different color. You guys wanted to see me do another color um, in the center and blow over that. So there's definitely um, a lot of ideas um, that I can do with these circles. So look at that. Look at that shine. That is the metallic cobalt blue. I love it. I love it. So that is that. It is available. Um, it's a 20 by 20 inch canvas. And if you are interested in purchasing it, um, please email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com. Now, in my last video, I mentioned that my um, Purple Bliss, the V Dutch Pour was sold. Um, good news for those of you who were interested, um, that fell through. So if uh, anyone is interested in that, it is now back up for grabs. So that is now um, available for purchase as well. Uh, let's see, anything else? I think that's it for now. If I remember anything, I'll let you guys know. So tonight I am working on just a small 12 by 12. I'm not usually used to working on smaller canvases nowadays, um, but I wanted to um, try something before I go on a bigger scale. So we all know how much I totally love this new Sterling Silver by DecoArt. I really, really liked using it in the circle Dutch pour. So I thought, let's do a Dutch pour with, instead of a white base for the canvas, I'm going to make it silver. Because it's so like really light, it's not like a dark silver or even like a gray. It's so light colored that I think it would look really neat and, um, so I also saw my good friend Molly. She did um, a pour with a, a Dutch pour with a silver background as well. I don't know what kind of silver she used, but it did turn out fabulous. And I don't, I don't remember what colors she used. All I know is that her background was silver. So it, it looked really nice. And now that I have this new sterling silver, I really, really wanted to give it a shot. The only thing is, it's not like your white Dutch pour paint, you know, the Artist Loft Acrylic Flow White, you get the really big bottle for $12.99. Well, here in Canada, it's $12.99. You get this teeny tiny bottle for like $15, $16. So yes, there's a coupon at Michael's, but trust me, if you're gonna use this a lot for base paint, it's gonna get expensive. So I am going to flood the canvas and I'll be right back so we can get started, all right? Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Boy, it's a lot harder to put on a different color, especially when you don't have a squeeze bottle to do the sides. It took me forever, and then I eventually gave up and went and got an empty bottle that I had kicking around, and I filled it with whatever was left from my cups. But boy, oh boy, um, that took a while. So let me just pop the bubbles real quick. And uh, colors I am going to use tonight is a metallic cobalt blue by Artist Loft, permanent blue violet by Amsterdam, and then iridescent blue green by Pebeo Studio Acrylics, okay? So I figured I'd stick with the blues and purples on a silver background, cause it's just really nice. And I'm going to do a diagonal since this is only just a 12 by 12. And let's hope for the best because if this doesn't work out, I'm not scraping it or starting over because it's too expensive. <laughs> so let's just hope it works out. Trial and error. I've never done it before. You guys all know that when I try something for the first time, I try it on camera while you guys are watching. I don't do it 
you know, the day before or do it earlier. And then if it works out, then I do another one and record it. No, I'm always recording no matter what. So, you know, because if it ends up turning out really, really great, then I don't have it on camera. So what sense does that make? All right, so three simple colors. Oh, I'm like, where'd I put my torch? Three simple colors. I'm going to pop the bubbles and let's get to it. Let's, uh, let's see what happens with this. I don't even know. Is that enough paint on there? Hmm. Let's see, you know what? I think I'm gonna add one more strip of purple just on top just because there's only three colors although it could be too many colors now but we'll see all right let's go uh yeah this way i guess Love it, love it, love it. It's so pretty. Wow, I really, really like it. I'm so glad I added that purple in there. I was gonna do an all blue one and I decided last minute I was gonna use Payne's Gray instead. And I said, nope, I'm gonna put the um, permanent blue violet in there. Wow, it's so nice. And the cells. The cells are really pretty. Oh, that really is a beautiful runoff. Got a little bit of the canvas showing here, so I'm just gonna touch it with my finger. Sorry about the outer mess. Clearly, I did not change my plastic after my um, square Dutch pour. Um, let's see, I th I'm, 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 I'm not gonna touch it, although there's an air bubble right there come on I can't get it but I can with my shuvlaki stick there we go I love this thing just a little skewer I, it's my shuvlaki stick <laughs> okay I am going to bring you guys down for a close-up and show you guys like I mean I I wish I could do this on a, I, well, I could do it on a much bigger scale. Um, it's just going to cost a heck of a lot to do it. So anywho, let me bring you guys down for a quick close up. All right, guys. So after I stopped recording when I was done, I spent about um, 10 minutes working on my sides and I was just, you know, dabbing away and making sure all the sides were done, which took a long time because again, um, I'm using silver and not my original white. And when I was finally done and looked up and looked at the painting, I noticed how drastically it's changed. So if you go back and rewind, you will see there's a lot more purple and it's literally the silver has swallowed up the colors. So it's still neat though, because I do like this webbing and the cells. So it is kind of cool. But again, this is why I did this on a small 12 by 12 canvas and not like a massive 12 by 24 or anything bigger. I do still like it and it is really shimmery, which is really beautiful. I'm just a little disappointed that the purples the purple is like really gone, but I still think it's kind of neat. So I don't know. Let me know um, what you guys think in the comments below. It is available for purchase once it's dry. So if anyone loves it and is interested in it, you know where to reach me. My email is listed in the link below. I wanted to say really quickly a huge thank you to the following people who have recently donated to my channel. Um, Evelyn, Mary, Yvonne, Suzanne, and a special thank you to Shelly who donated um, today to my channel for Juno because it's his birthday. 
um, today, but by the time you see this video, it'll be the next day. But yeah, she donated money and told me that it was for Juno and to buy him like a toy. So Shelly, thank you so much. That was super, super sweet of you. Um, if Juno could talk, I'm sure he would say thank you. So thank you to everyone else who has donated. And if you'd like to donate, my PayPal link is in the description below. And don't forget to check out Juno's YouTube channel. I did a video montage um, of his first year with us. So from when he was a puppy up until now, I dare you not to cry because I sure as heck did. And I still do <laughs> when I watch it. I don't know. It's just, I love him. What can I say? So anywho, that's enough of that. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. Look at it, it's so pretty. I really do like it. The more I look at it, the more I like it. So that's it, so, and I keep saying so. <laughs> if you're interested in that, let me know. If you're interested in this, let me know. And you know, the green phthalo blue V and the purple V Dutch pours are also still available. So that's it for now, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.